studies on turbidity, pH and microbial presence in water. Water covers about three quarters of the Earth's surface and it is essential for all known forms of life. Some of the characteristics that control the quality of water are the turbidity of water, pH of the water and different types of plants and animals and their density. To study the turbidity of water samples using Seki's disk method. Turbidity is the measure of the relative clarity of a liquid. Turbidity of the water body determines the depth to which light can penetrate and thus affects the distribution and photosynthesis of phytoplankton and microphytes. Turbidity can be measured using several methods. The easiest and least expensive method is through a Seki's disc. Materials required Seki's disc tied with a rope of moderate thickness and a meter tape. Procedure Reach the center of the pond in a small boat. Slowly immerse the Seki's disc into water vertically, holding the rope tightly till the black and white segments of the disc disappear. On reaching a particular depth, the disc becomes completely invisible. Using a pin, mark the length of the rope when the disc appears, say 8 cm. Slowly pull up the disc till the black and white segments of the disc just reappear. Using a pin, mark the length of the rope where they just reappear, say B cm. Using a meter tape, find the length of A and B. Find the mean length, say x centimeters, of the rope by the following method. x is equal to a plus b by 2. Observation The value of x represents the depth of the photic zone up to which sunlight penetrates in the water body and photosynthesis takes place. Precaution Students are advised to perform this experiment under the strict supervision of a teacher to prevent danger such as drowning. To study the pH of water The pH is a measure of the relative amount of free hydrogen and hydroxyl ions in an aqueous solution. Solutions with a pH less than 7 are said to be acidic and with a pH greater than 7 are basic. The pH of pure water is 7 at 25 degrees centigrade. The pH value of water sample can be determined by using universal pH indicator solution or pH paper strips. Materials required Water sample from the pond, bore well and backwater, pH paper, universal indicator solution, dropper and a tile. Procedure Let's first check the pH of water sample using pH paper. Take a pH paper strip and dip into the beaker that contains backwater. Keep the wet pH paper strip on the tile. Do the same procedure for borewell water and pond water. Wait for some time to dry the pH paper. Note the colour and compare with the colour chart given on the broad range indicator paper and get a rough estimate of pH of the sample solution. We can observe that backwater and borewell water has pH 8 and pond water has pH 5. Let's check the pH of the water sample using universal indicator solution. Using a dropper, take some universal indicator solution. Put 5 drops of indicator solution into the beaker that contains the water sample. Note the colour developed and compare it with the colour chart. We can observe that backwater and borewell water has pH 8 and pond water has pH 5. To analyse living organisms in a water sample, a productive water body has high nutrient concentrations and has a very high density of phytoplankton per unit area. 
these water bodies have high amounts of nutrients and dissolved oxygen and bear a large number of organisms at different tropic levels. You will observe these kinds of living organisms in the water sample with the help of a microscope. Materials required A water sample from a pond Test tube Glass slide Cover slip Needle Dropper Filter paper and a compound microscope Procedure Take a beaker containing pond water and pour it into a test tube. Leave the water sample undisturbed till the sediment settles to the bottom of the test tube. Decant the clear water, leaving concentrated sediment at the bottom of the test tube. With the help of a dropper, transfer a drop of water from the test tube to the center of a glass slide. Take a cover slip and place it gently on the slide with the aid of a needle. Remove the extra water using a filter paper. Place this glass slide on the stage of the compound microscope and view it. Observations We can observe a large number of different organisms in water sample.